killer. I know I probably, I know I probably should do this, but I almost like just really just don't care enough to fucking do it considering what happened in the episode, but <laughs> what's up, what's going on guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video, uh, today we're going to be talking about Borto episode 32 I believe, episode 32 I believe, and uh, well, there's not really a whole lot for me to talk about, uh, it's it's another slice of life episode, and that's pretty much what I can guarantee you that it is another slice of life episode. Uh, so yeah, like I said, pretty much nothing really happens. So the premise and plot, quote unquote, of the episode is basically that Boruto, you know, he he finishes all the stuff that he needed to do over at the Mist Village because of the field trip and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, he goes back to the Hidden Leaf, his home, where, you know, he lives. <laughs> so, uh, he goes back, and then he kind of, uh, con he has a conflict with his sister. Not really, but he has, like, this issue where he had made a promise to his little sister, Himawari, that he was going to bring back a souvenir for Himawari, but he forgot because of all the stuff that happened with the Seven Ninja Swordsman of the Mist. So... Kind of because of that, he and the reason why he forgot, Himawari is more than just, you know, a little mad at Boruto. He's, she's probably a little bit more than just kind of mad at Boruto for forgetting like how he did. So basically this whole hep episode is just him trying to get a souvenir for his sister. But there's also other stuff that happens, I guess, that I could talk about but it's not really that important um, it's mainly just the whole time in the beginning of the episode uh, rather that Savada, Iwabe, and Boruto get called off to the principal's office almost just butchered that word <laughs> and uh, they're thinking that they obviously got in trouble and uh, if Boruto didn't make up a story, then it wouldn't have mattered either way if they had just apologized for it. Uh, there's kind of like this whole lesson in the episode that I noticed that if you just go ahead and, and apologize and be honest with your mistakes, then you won't have to worry about anything. I have to sneeze, goddammit. <coughs> Excuse me, first time sneezing during a video. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, so, Boruto is trying to explain what happened through a false story, a fake story that didn't even really happen, saying that he got lost and Iwabe and Sarada found him and got him before roll call, etc, etc. Apparently, Chojuro kind of sent something uh, to the Leaf saying that, like, Boruto shouldn't, uh, Boruto, Iwabe, and Sarada shouldn't get in trouble because of stuff happen, causing fight, yada yada yada. He didn't really go into explanation to why it kind of happened and why Boruto got involved. It, it just said don't, uh, don't let them get in trouble or whatever. I forgot what it said, so either way, they all got in trouble and then they had to go out into this specific area on the ground and paint it green. And uh, this is just one of the few gags in the episode, so uh, they go out and they have to paint this one area on the ground green, and then the other students have to watch them do it. And it's like, yeah, it was like, it, yeah, it was funny, but it's just like, I find it hard to believe that they would allow the students to go out and just watch this happen. So we get a little bit of uh, what happened with uh, Kagura and stuff like that. He's kind of just like doing this whole like bullshit and the seven the seven ninja swordsmen <clears throat> are uh, kind of held in rehabilitation quote unquote and so they're kind of just there kind of locked up for kind of what they did you know you know they pretty much tried to frame Chojuro the Mizukage for doing stuff even though Shizuma Shizuma was the one who fucking did it and yeah, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. So the rest of the episode continues on 
Uh, Boruto finally realizes it from fucking Hinata. Uh, because Hinata was like, well, I figured you would figure it out for yourself. That so so and so is fucking mad, meaning he uh, Himawari is pretty mad and stuff. So, anyways, stuff happened. Yada yada yada. He went out to go get a souvenir for Himawari. Uh, eventually, found an area in in the Leaf Village because of Sarada. She said like there's this place where they sell souvenirs, stuff like that for from different villages. Boruto found what he needed to find. It was a good enough souvenir, I guess. It was like water cinnamon, uh, cinnamon fucking rolls or whatever. I, I, don't, I don't really fucking care or remember what it was, so. He finds it. Lady in the store is like, no, you can't have it because she's stingy and stuff like that. Uh, then, uh,. Mitsuki like picks her up from her fucking arm and he's like, well, this is happening uh, Boruto, what do we do? Should I do it? And then Boruto was like, no! And the way that I'm making it sound like and what the episode made it sound like was he was gonna fucking do some shit and almost like kill her and then Boruto's just like, no, don't do that that's fucked up, man, don't do it so uh, she kind of falls to the ground drops a deck of cards with Shinobi Bout offers to play a match against Boruto uh, for the fucking roles I guess uh, and <clears throat> the way that the scenery was kind of set up was uh, the lady was kind of kind of had her back against a wall kind of area with like a bunch of like jars that would, would reflect off of certain stuff that would reflect off certain stuff and Boruto could have easily uh, could have cheated off of that just because he needed the win, obviously, right? So that way he can get this item for his sister. And then he decides, nah, you might want to reshuffle your cards because I can see your cards and stuff like that. So the lady says, like, this is boring. Throws them out, gives them what Boruto needs because plot. <laughs> so he heads back. He gets a letter from Kagura saying that yeah I probably should have been there to see you off when you left but I didn't I kind of explained some shit whatever whatever the fuck he said he apologized and the Boruto was like yeah maybe I should apologize to my sister as well because it would have just been a lot easier with that so yeah, yeah that, that's that's pretty much it nothing else kind of happened there was like a, a <clears throat> there was a scene with Sogetsu and Orochimaru where they kind of like talk about the events that happened over at the Mista Village. It kind of almost seemed like they knew what was happening or they kind of had something to do with what was happening, but I don't know. But that's pretty much it. I don't know how long I recorded for, but I hope it's not for very long because yeah, <laughs> but anyways. That's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to drop a like. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button for future content just like this. Uh, Screw Attack. If those of you who are wondering, yes, I did see Screw Attack's death battle with Naruto versus Ichigo. Um, I, I, I fucking called it. You know, I, I knew Naruto was going to win. I might make a separate video. Uh, I knew Naruto was going to win. Uh, not surely because of feats or what Naruto can and cannot do and stuff like that. Just surely because Naruto is more popular than Ichigo. I just kind of already expected that he, that he was going to win. So, Anyways, that's it. That's the end of the video. I have nothing else to say. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.